next step, next step in making the uh, house number number one isn't it? Uh, that we started on the last video. Right, I've done a I've glued the paper onto the carton uh, and then cut the carton out uh, for certain things and cut some of the paper, the cover layers out as well. I'll show you now. Uh, back walls, um, side walls, uh, there's two of those obviously because we've got two sides to the uh, to the house that fits like that, okay, well, equal and opposite on the other side. Um, what else have we cut out? Uh, right, this is called, right, these are called the side inner walls, alright, and obviously you need two of those. These are the outside walls. They go between the houses and that is two bits of card cut out uh, one is one mil, one is two mil and they're glued together yeah. we then have a downpipe piece of card which is going to have the uh, downpipe uh, piece of paper, the black line down the middle, that's the um, that's the down pipe. So that will be glued to this piece of card with the black line down one side of it. Okay. This just happens to be a bit wider, just a little bit wider than the outside walls. So that all gets glued together after we've put the cover layers on. Right now, the cover layers for this bit, which is the side wall, which is the two bits card, is um, is that okay? So that will be glued to that. Now the point about this is, um, if this is going to be uh, adjacent to another building, then you've got the choice of whether you. Uh, pick the um, type of brick here for the building that you're actually constructing or whether you pick it for the uh, you choose it for the house which it's going to attach to all right so you have to think that one through before you do it and obviously the drain which you attach to this can go on the left or the right all right uh, dependent upon whether you want it on the house that it's adjacent to or the house that you're building. Also, it's a bit complicated, but it, 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 when you look at it, um, it's it, you know, you you eventually arrive at the decision <laughs> after a while. I think it was one of the sort of uh, head scratches that I had to um, think about before putting the whole thing together. I've also cut out the front wall, one millimetre card, that's the square windows cut out of that, and it's cover layer. Now the side wall that I've chosen brickwise is the same as that. That's what I've chosen. We've got one of those flies that might bend that. <laughs> As long as it doesn't uh, land on my head, I'll be okay. Right, so that actually gets glued to that. All right, and then the, as you can see, there's some white showing there. They're flaps. They get folded back and glued to the back face here. All right, so the white bits and the windows here, which you've cut out, get folded around. You then, before you do anything else, is to glue on the sills and window ledges. It's just a piece of paper that's marked. Okay, so they'll go on the on the front, and then they're folded around and glued on the back as well. You do that before 
you put your windows in on okay before so that's that buttresses I've got some buttresses here I, I couldn't remember what the buttresses were for but in actual fact there one mil card okay like that and they fit up the edge of there so they've got to be covered with uh, either the, the brick that you've got here or something else which is what I've chosen there's something else here is uh, kind of like uh, what well, they call it engineering bricks all right so you get that so there'll be the buttresses here each side will be engineering bricks so we'll cover that piece of card with that one that could just get folded around wrapped around and glued what else I've done is the uh, floors and ceilings okay for each one uh, of these you'll need three floors and ceilings okay so that's the ceiling side that is the floor side so that's two bits of two mil so that's four mil thick now with the uh, oh well, I'll come back onto that what I've also done is I've got the windows cut out okay on the piece of uh, paper now I don't cut around the windows you know uh, that these two here are one piece those there are one piece you don't cut them out individually that there is one piece as well so uh, what I don't do is cut them up into the pieces as it were before I cut the windows out because with a bigger bit of paper you get um, yeah more rigidity in the thing before I glue this top piece here to the um, perspex uh, what they call it see-through stuff uh, plastic see-through plastic um, I will actually cut those two windows out not separately but together okay glue it to the perspex and then after I've glued the facade brickwork onto the um, front and after I put the sills on I'll glue these on behind that lot I will then if I feel like it cut out some curtains and glue those on top of these at the back so it's a, it's a bit of a slog, a bit of a slog, but you'll get there eventually. It's not difficult, it's just uh, take, takes time. What with the glue drying and everything. You will notice that when you glue the uh, paper onto the carton, doesn't matter how thick the carton is, uh, which we're using is the 2 or the 1 mil. what actually happens is that it gets a little bit warped, okay? Just slightly warped. So if you get a chance to put it underneath something heavy when it's drying, um, you, you'll arrive at something which is flat. But when you're gluing bits together, obviously, when you're gluing this and that together onto its side, you want to make absolutely certain that if this is warped, it becomes flat, hold it flat whilst it's gluing. And if this is warped, hold each end flat whilst this is gluing to it otherwise you'll end up with a bendy house not a windy house, a bendy house the other thing that you need to absolutely make certain is that these floors and ceilings right, what's the cat as well, uh, are all exactly the same size and they don't protrude beyond the limits of the width of the house or the depth of the house if you follow me that's the inside you'll glue that on the inside there okay so the important dimension there if you can see it yeah is that the width is exactly the same as the width of the back of the house and the depth of the thing from here to here is exactly the same depth as that when you glue it uh, when you glue it on alright 
so it all ends up absolutely flush at the front but these two bits here that's this bit here at the side okay this bit here at the side and the other bit that goes on are flush with the back glued to the back so that's making with the best will in the world it's very very difficult to ensure that uh, both the um, ceiling and the uh, floor are glued well you can ensure that they're glued together square obviously flat and square that's easy you just put it down on something flat and just make certain that one side is equal flush with the other side and that also okay but if you're a little bit over in one cutting then one of these and one of those will be a little bit bigger a little smaller than the other uh, and it's it's inevitable you're right I've I always do it. I always arrive at one being infinitesimally but small. And if you're going to glue this upright, which it has to be, of course, vertical. When you glue it onto the back, it has to be vertical, doesn't it? Yeah. You want to ensure that the surface there, underneath, is is flat and square to the uh, to to the ceiling and floor. Okay. So you glue that on, flat and square. It's easy when it's been made nice and square and flat. To that end, we have two more little bits of equipment that we need to use. One is a dirty great sheet of sandpaper. And the other piece of equipment there, <laughs> is a bit bigger now, is uh, my father's square. Now you won't have my father's square but I'm sure you'll have your own. So that's what you need as well when you glue uh, the floors and ceilings and sides onto the back. Make sure that they're square. Uh, the first things I do glue after having made sure they're the right size etc are the floors okay so I, I glue the floors and ceilings on so we go one sorry where are we going one two three okay I glue those on first before I glue the sides on the reason I think that's better is to enable me when I come to put the sides on to glue along the edge of this as well as along the edge of the floors and ceilings so that when I put that on the side it's got glue on all the uh, one two three four edges okay and it's held nice and square and it's got a lot of glue on it a lot of surface edges to glue up to if you put the sides on first then you've got to try and slide this down obviously between the two sides and you know what it's like, all the glue gets pushed out as you're pushing it down. If it's a good fit, if it's not a good fit, then you might get away with it. But if it's a good, if it's too big, that, you'll never get it in. And if it's too small, then you have to fill up the gap with a bit of glue. So you don't want to do that. So, I can't think that I've cut out anything else at the moment, but that's the major bit. And what we don't do is glue the um, glue this bit onto the back when we finish putting the back and sides together we don't do that yet okay what we've got to tackle next is the shop before we glue the facade on so we'll make the shop we'll glue that on obviously flush with the bottom here okay so when it sits on something together with these sides which you've already insured are flush with the bottom of that as well okay so along the base we've got everything at the same level so it sits down nice and flush if you're going to put lights in it there's no light coming underneath the thing okay 
So when you glue it together, ensure that the bottoms are flush with each other. Okay, it's fairly easy. I mean, ain't rocket science, is it? Uh, right, I think. Well, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start sanding these bits off. Okay, and test fitting them first before I glue them. Uh, as I say, you need you need to do that. Um, I don't know what this is. What's this? That's a hundred and twenty grit uh, sandpaper. Nothing much rougher than that, I don't think. And anything smoother, you'll be there for three weeks. Because uh, you know cardboard's fairly strong. Actually, it's quite difficult to sand. Decent quality cardboard will stand like wood. Um, crap will sand like cotton wool. Uh, it'll be quite difficult. So off we go. Don't know how long that video is. If there's a bit to add on the end, I will add it on the end. If not, I'll see you next time. Eh? Right, I'll try and reach around again. I should have somebody here to switch me off then, shouldn't I? Anyway, okay. Bye bye. Look after yourselves. Right, one thing uh, I forgot to mention. Uh, I'm busy getting on with the gluing, as you can see. I've glued the, uh, the three floors and ceilings in. I've glued the two sides on, okay. Like that. It's all nice and flush at the back. Flush on the bottom, important. And here also, that's the bit cross there, cross there, cross there flush. So that you... Uh, your facade fits on um, nice and flat. You can glue all around it and it won't let any light out. Right, the thing which I forgot to mention is I've put the wraps around the uh, side walls, okay? And I've put the wrap around the downpipe as well. It's just a little small bit, alright, that sticks on there with the black edge. Alright. And that glues onto this side wall before we stick it on the side of the building. Right, it's important to note that the um, this wrap here is handed. So there's a left and a right, okay? So the way it's designated is down pipe on the right or down pipe on the left. So as you're looking at it, You've got this on the outside of the building. You then have got your downpipe, okay, which fits next to it, like that. And then your building will fit like that. All right, so you have brick on the outside, a brick little bit front down pipe and then your facade. This of course will not fit on the other side of the building like that because the wrap doesn't go all the way around. Okay, So that's a left and a right. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I glue this <coughs> to the box to the sides before I put the facade on. The reason I do that is so that because that's it can be bent, whatever, okay, and I need it to glue it fairly substantially. What I can do is that I can use a closed peg because I can get into it, okay, like that, to hold and glue strongly that if the facade's on. I can't use any clamps. Okay, I can hold it there. I can put it down and put a weight on top of it. But I'll use these. And anyway, I'm not going to put the facade on until I've made the um, shop. I don't know what sort of shop yet. Mrs Miggins Pie Shop. Because we've already got Mrs Miggins Pie and P other, other Pie and P Shop. So we need to do a Mrs Miggins Pie shop, 
perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what we're doing. I'll carry on with gluing all the bits. Yeah, the um, the fronts. Uh, when I get to the windows, I'll show you how I do those. And uh, yeah, all right. The second time for saying goodbye, but I shall uh, see you on the next video. Hopefully, at which point we would have gone on a little bit further. Enjoy! And look after yourselves, obviously. Okay, here we go.